Hey guys, my name is Javel, and in this video series, I'm going to show you how to use React, among other technologies, to create this financial dashboard. You can find a link to the demo video or the demo website in the description. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate the project setup, which will include creating a new React app, creating a Firebase project, initializing Firebase hosting, setting up Git, creating a new GitHub repository, and setting up a CI CD pipeline with the help of GitHub Actions. I'll make this video as quick and as simple as possible because I don't want to waste your time and I want you to learn a lot. If you have any questions or any suggestions, comment below and I'll be more than happy to respond to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Open the terminal and run the command npx create react app quality dashboard. Quality Dashboard is the name of our project. Create React App, or CRA for short, will create a project folder that we can navigate into and run the command code period to open VS Code. I'll be using keyboard shortcuts that will be displayed on the lower left corner of the screen. In the integrated terminal, let's run npm start to start the local development server, which will open our default browser with our app running on localhost port 3000. Let's customize it to our liking. Open the app component and let's create a new one. I'm going to create a coming soon page. Wav1 soon come, which is the Jamaican version of what's up coming soon. Let's add a bit of style. In the div, set the display to flex, flex direction to column, justify content, center, align items, center. Height 100VH and Font Family Roboto. In the H1 element, set the color to a light shade of green and set the margin to zero. There we go. Let's change the app title and the fav icon in the browser tab. In the index.html file in the public folder, let's remove some unnecessary code and change the title to Quality Financial Dashboard. To change the fav icon, open the public folder and replace the fav icon and logos with our own. The link to all the assets is in the description. Here we have the first version of our app, a coming soon page. In order to deliver it to our users, we need to test, build, and deploy it. In the package.json file, some scripts were defined to perform these actions. In the integrated terminal, let's run the test. The test failed because we made some changes in the app component that were not accounted for in the test. The test was created by CRA and states that the app component renders the learn react link. No, it renders the coming soon text. Change the link element to h1 element and the content should be wav1 soon come. When I save my changes, the test should run again and pass. Let's run the build command. This command creates a build directory with a production build of our app. It contains our static files, which includes our index.html file, JavaScript files, and all of our assets. We're going to deploy this directory with Firebase hosting service. Let's go to Firebase. All you need is a Google account. Let's create a new project, Quality Dashboard Production. I appended production to the name because it's the production version of the app. We don't need Google Analytics. This should take only a few seconds. Go to the hosting service, Click Get Started, and we will be given some setup instructions. Step 1. Install Firebase CLI. I already have it installed. Step 2. Initialize your project. Run the command Firebase Login. I am already logged in. Run the command Firebase Init. Select the hosting service. Select the option Use an existing project. Select the project. The public directory is build. Configure as a single page app? Yes. Set up automatic builds and deploy with GitHub? No, not right now. 
override no. The initialization is now complete. Step 3 is to deploy. Once the deployment process is complete, we can open the hosting URL. Our app is now live in the production environment. Let's go back to Firebase, click continue to console. Here we have our first release deployed manually. The three steps that we just performed manually, test, build and deploy, can be automated with a CI CD pipeline. CI stands for continuous integration and CD stands for continuous delivery. The goal of CI is to establish a consistent and automated way to test and build our application. CI also involves frequently committing code into a version control repository. CD, continuous delivery, picks up where continuous integration left off. CD automates the delivery of apps to selected environments. It's common for most teams to work with multiple environments other than production, such as development and staging environments. CD ensures there is an automated way to push code changes to these environments. We will use Git, GitHub, and GitHub Actions implement our CI-CD pipeline. You may realize that CRA initialized Git in our project to keep track of our changes. You can use Git log to see the most recent changes or commits. Git status shows the changes that need to be committed. We need to use the git add command to include our changes into our next commit. Git commit will save the changes. Now let's host our project on GitHub. Go to GitHub and create a new repository. GitHub provides us with a list of setup instructions we can follow. Git remote add origin will link this GitHub repository to our local project. Git branch dash m main will name the current branch main. Git push dash u origin main will push our local project to our GitHub repository. Now that we have our Git and GitHub setup, let's look at GitHub Actions. GitHub Actions offers workflows that can test, build, and deploy the code in our repository. We will configure our workflow to run when we push new code to our repository. We can use a workflow template like the ones on GitHub and customize it. However, we're going to use a Firebase command that will give us a workflow we can use as a template. Run the command Firebase init hosting colon GitHub. Let's specify our GitHub repository, the vagabond code forward slash quality dashboard. Let's follow the prompts. Associate the main branch with, with the live site channel. The command will automatically create a service account in the Firebase project with a JSON key to give GitHub permissions to deploy the Firebase hosting. The JSON key will be added to our GitHub repository as a secret. The command also created two files. I'm going to delete the second one and rename and modify the first one. I'll quickly modify the code and explain it after. This is the name of the workflow, Continuous Integration and Delivery. This specifies that the jobs in the workflow should run every time someone pushes a change on the main branch. We define all the jobs below the jobs key. The first job is named test and build. It runs on the latest Ubuntu virtual machine. It has several steps listed below the steps key. The first step is the checkout or git repository. To do this, we use the checkout community action. This action checks out our git repository and download it to the virtual machine, allowing us to run actions against the code. The second step is to run npm clean install to install our dependencies, run the test, and run the build process. The third step is to upload our build directory, which will allow us to use it in the next job. The next job is named deploy to production. It will run only if changes were pushed on the main branch and will run after the build and test job. 
It has steps to check out the repository, download the build directory that was uploaded from the previous job, and deploy it to Firebase Hosting using a community action. The repo token gives the action the ability to make comments. GitHub token is a secret in GitHub. This is the service account JSON key, which was automatically created in Firebase and added to GitHub repository as a GitHub secret, which will give GitHub permission to deploy to Firebase hosting. The channel ID is set to live, which will deploy the build to the live channel. If it was left blank, or app would be deployed to a preview channel, which is a new feature in Firebase. Project ID is our Firebase project ID, and that's it. Let's commit and push our changes to our repository. This push should trigger our workflow on GitHub, which will automatically test, build, and deploy our app to, to production. Open the deploy to production job, select the deploy to Firebase hosting step, and open the URL to see our app in production. For this project, I'm going to create a staging environment where I can actively make changes after which I can verify before deploying to production. Let's quickly create a Firebase project for staging. Let's also create a Git branch for staging. We can link the Firebase staging project to our React project using the command Firebase use dash dash add. The Firebase RC file shows all the Firebase projects linked to our React project. The Firebase use command allows us to run commands against different Firebase projects linked to our React project. For example, now that we are using the Firebase staging project, I can manually deploy our app to it. Let's configure our GitHub workflow to automatically test, build, and deploy to our staging environment on every push to the staging branch. We need to create a service account for our staging Firebase project and add it to GitHub as a secret. Let's do it manually. In project settings, click service accounts, manage service accounts permissions. We are taken to the Google Cloud console. Click create service account. Let's use the production version as a reference. Copy the name and paste it. Copy the description. And paste it then click create add the firebase authentication admin role and the firebase hosting admin role continue done let's add a JSON key Let's open and copy the JSON key. Navigate to GitHub. Click Settings. Click Secrets. New repository secret. Give it a name. And paste the JSON key. Copy this secret name. And paste it in our deploy to staging job. Go to Firebase and copy the project ID and paste it in the workflow as well. Let's commit and push our changes to our repository. This push should trigger our workflow on GitHub, 
which will automatically test, build, and deploy our app in staging. Open the Deploy to Staging job, select the Deploy to Firebase Hosting step, and open the URL to see our app in staging. Let's also take a note of the release shown in the Firebase console. You can see that it was deployed by GitHub. Whenever I need to add a feature to my app, I create a new branch, make the changes, then push the branch to staging. For example, let's add a logo to the coming soon page. Let's commit and push our changes to our repository. Then create a pull request into staging and merge the changes. This push should trigger our workflow, which will test, build, and deploy our changes to the staging environment. Everything looks good. Now I want this change in production. Let's push this change to production by creating a pull request and merging staging into main. This will trigger our workflow on GitHub, which will automatically test, build, and deploy our app to production. Let's do a refresh, and there you have it. Look out for the next video where I'll show you how to create the navigation section.